Franklin D. Roosevelt sitting on the porch at Springwood in Hyde Park during his last year at Harvard in 1903. This image represents the last photograph taken of President Franklin D. Roosevelt. It was taken in April 11, 1945, at Warm Springs, Georgia, by Nicholas Robbins to aid in artist Elizabeth Shumatoff's portrait painting session. FDR died the following day, gift of Roosevelt Institute and Shumatoff family. Franklin and Eleanor Roosevelt with their 13 grandchildren in FDR's White House study. Portrait taken by Navy photographers on Inauguration Day in January 20th, 1945. Franklin D. Roosevelt on Debbie, his first pony in Hyde Park, New York, on April 1889. Franklin D. Roosevelt, laying cornerstone of New East Wing of the White House, Washington, D.C., on November 5th, 1942. Franklin D. Roosevelt, FDR, gives the first broadcast from his study in the FDR Library on Labor Day, declaring, We shall do everything in our power to crush Hitler and his Nazi forces, on September 1, 1941. Franklin D. Roosevelt and Eleanor Roosevelt, with David Roosevelt, Faye Emerson Roosevelt, Ross McIntyre, and Ruth Chandler Roosevelt at Fort Worth, Texas, on September 28, 1942. Franklin D. Roosevelt at the wheel of Amberjack II while sailing from Marion, Massachusetts to Campobello, New Brunswick, Canada, on June 16, 1933. Franklin D. Roosevelt salutes units of the 33rd Infantry Division at Fort Lewis, Washington, during his inspection trip on September 22, 1942. Franklin D. Roosevelt, campaigning, gives speech on back of train at Redding, California. L.R., F.D.R., Francis Carr, and Anna Roosevelt Dahl on September 22, 1932. Franklin D. Roosevelt and Winston Churchill Fishing at Shangri-La, Maryland, on May 14, 1943, May 17, 1943. Franklin D. Roosevelt with, from left to right, Manuel Quezon, Jr., President Manuel Quezon of the Philippines, Captain John McCrea and Maria Aurora Quezon, upon the arrival of President Quezon's party to Washington, D.C., on May 13, 1942. Franklin D. Roosevelt campaigning while sitting in a car in 1932.